Alright, so in the last video we learned about how fucking retarded Android is to work with. Like, fucking retarded, okay? If even developing something like a game for an Xbox is a thousand times fucking easier, right? Um, it's taken maybe like two hours to set all this fucking shit up. Well, two hours for me because I've had to do this like a million fucking times and figure out what the fuck's going on. So, uh, yeah, and it makes me want to swear every fucking sentence like I am right now. Just fucking pisses me off. It's a real fucking pain in the ass. And then programming with it is a fucking nightmare. So I'm just going to be showing you guys the basics. Um, as you can see here, I've already got some crap that I've written. Um, I'm just not, I'm going to use the editor here just to show you the basics. Or, you know what? I'm going to create a new class here just for. So, uh, what I did, go to my package, right click new, Java class. I'm going to call this Java fucking sucks. Because I hate it that much. Okay, here is our class. And I know I'm sort of going this in reverse, but um, you need to know this shit to be able to do anything in fucking Java. So, unfortunately, i got to show you guys how classes are done first. So, what I'm going to do is public. This makes it so that the, the function can be accessed from outside of this class. And this is because I already have some stuff. And what I've done here is I've just created a constructor. And I'm just going to do public. I don't I haven't even tried this yet. Maybe they have static functions. Oh, maybe they do public static uh, void, which just means that the return that's the return. And then uh suck it. Okay, seems to be working. So it's very similar to C sharp in this manner. And yes, I'm going to keep on referring to C sharp um, because it's a million fucking times better. But um, they're both based on the same language. So C, C sharp is based on C, and Java is supposedly based on C, but I can't fucking tell. Other than, you know, the public shit. Anywho. Um, let's get started. So we have variables, we have string, and in Java, um, string has to be defined with a capital, unlike verse C sharp. So string my string equals uh, my fucking value. Okay, next we have integers. Int equals 69. Whoops. And you get all these errors everywhere. Woohoo. Oh, well, we can't use int, so my int, because it's a type. 69 type thing. Okay. Oh, and I'm pretty sure because of that thing, you can do int my int2. My keyboard's a little screwed up. 69.8. Sure, let's do that. Those are your variables, and how you ca how you call them? Well, let's see. My string should be just plus equals, and then blah. That would add on to the string. Basic little things like that. And just I'm sorry for you Java newbies out there who are like, well, like I said in my first fucking video, you're probably you're you're probably loving Android because this is your first fucking language ever, and it's gonna fuck you up for life. But anywho, sorry if I'm going too fast for you newbies who have not programmed in any other language before. But uh, yeah, let's go with your for loops. It's just like in pretty much any other language. Uh, for int i equals 0, i is less than whatever value. So let's go 10 i plus plus. And then we do shit here. Blah. Okay, let's actually do something. So my int plus equals 2. So it's actually doing something not useful. <sighs> then we, of course, we have our if statements. So if my ints equals, you know what, just for the sake of if being easy, I don't want to have to calculate what the fuck it, my int would equal in this case. Um, if it's less than 100, do something. And yes, you can do lazy brackets or, you know, brackets. Whatever, who gives a fuck? Anywho, um, well, I haven't shown you guys out how to output something yet, so I'm going to leave it like that. 
that's just your basics, the for loop, the if. Um, there are a bunch of uh, other ways to loop through shit, but that's just going to confuse the hell out of you. Um, let's say you have a, an array. In, I don't know how strings are done, so let's see. String array equals new string. Oh, we can do it this way, just like fucking C-sharp. Um, this is an array, so to call this, you do array. I'm not sure if it's like this. Let's try this. Yeah, okay, so we can do with arrays like that. So what I've done here is I've created a new array. The value of array is in index 0 is woot. That's pretty much it. That's all I've done. Let's say you wanted to do uh, index 2, so you want to have another value in your array, so java socks, then you go array, and then the index for it would be 1 plus equals. We're going to add on to this balls. There we go. That's your basics to arrays. And then to loop through, <coughs> I'm just learning this right, like myself. I have never used arrays yet. I've used uh, lists in Java, but not arrays. So, um, what was it? Array dot length i plus plus is very similar to JavaScript. So, if you have experience in other languages, this will be a whole hell lot easier to learn compared to uh, if you're a complete newbie. If you're a complete newbie, go look up a fucking tutorial to learn basic Java. And it's going to be a real fucking pain in the ass to learn. So, woot. And yes, my neighbor is going fucking crazy because she's fucking retarded. Anywho. Um, da, 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 da. You know, I'm just going to get rid of that whole thing because I don't need it. Let's go on to lists. So list uh, string equals my string list equals new. And this is sort of retarded. You do array list. So you could just do array list here. Um, if you, yeah, just use array list. It's much easier. Fuck the whole list thing. Anywho, you got your list here. And then my string list dot add, just like any other list in any other language. Blah. And to loop through it, it's a little bit different than uh, in like C sharp. So if int i equals zero i is less than my string list. And then rather than count or size or length, it's sorry, <laughs> count or length, it's actually size. So and then my string list dot uh, dot get. There we are. I I'm not sure if you can add like this. I haven't tried it yet. Nope. But we can do get. So there's probably like a set or something. Dot set. Oh, there we go. So you have to use set. You can't just do plus equal. My string list dot get i plus balls. Yeah, and as you can see, guys, I am just like actually learning this right on the fucked spot as I'm recording this video. So, sorry if I make any mistakes. I'm doing my best. Oh, well, my experience can only go so far. But yeah, just an FYI, everything that's uh, from pretty much this line and downwards is fucking bullshit. <sighs> right on the spot. Figuring out what the fuck's going on. Um, I'm just going to plug in my laptop adapter so the battery keeps going. Uh, and hopefully it's going to behave. Okay. I I still have a few more fixes to do with my laptop, so... Um, anywho, now let's show you guys how to actually output something. Holy fucking shit. Um, <laughs> I don't remember this so well. There's a command called log. Be my main activity. I've used it all the time. So log.e, log, whatever. So it's just log with a capital, and this is part of, I think, um... Androids, yeah. So Android utility.log, and 
before we get to this, we're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to show you guys something really fucking 